Keeping existing partners is one of the most valuable activities you can do as a nonprofit leader. It's so much easier to keep a partner than it is to find a new one. In this video, I'll be addressing creative ways to keep the partners you already have. Grab your notebook and stay tuned. A while back, I heard a story from a colleague that impacted me greatly. A nonprofit leader went to the office of a major donor to discuss the activities of the organization. The men hadn't met before, but the two immediately bonded, so much so that a 30-minute appointment ended up being 90 minutes long. The two shared personal stories and struggles and even wept together. Near the end of the time, the leader asked to pray for the donor, which led to an even richer and more meaningful connection. A year later, the nonprofit leader again went to meet with the donor, and the relationship initially started right where it left off. However, at one point, the nonprofit leader saw a picture of a young man on the credenza behind the donor and asked, Oh, is that your son? How is he? To which the donor replied, I shared with you about his agonizing death due to leukemia the last time you were here. We discussed our struggles dealing with this, and you even prayed for us. It became apparent to the donor that the nonprofit leader had completely forgotten about the situation in the past, leading the donor to feel the time before didn't mean that much to the leader. It was an embarrassing moment for the leader, and the time ended cordially, but clearly the, the bond that was there the first time no longer existed. There were a few mistakes I learned from this situation. First, keep good records of time with your donors, but second, be especially mindful of meaningful conversations and refer back to those when possible. Keeping existing partners or donors means having meaningful connections, but it also includes genuine interest in the other person and a strong desire to have a long-lasting relationship. It's a proven fact that it's easier to keep an existing partner than it is to find a new one. Thus, keeping our existing partners or donors should be a critical part of our current development plan. Just as with any relationship, time and attention are the cornerstones. Here's what happens when you don't treat partners correctly. Number one, they won't see your work as a priority. Number two, their commitment level will not increase. Number three, they won't give referrals. And finally, they will find other places to give. The following are ways to keep an existing partner. Key number one, Make them feel loved. If you've ever been in a meaningful relationship, you know that everyone is seeking genuine love. For many donors or partners, especially those with great wealth, they have told me that they feel nonprofit leaders just give them time and attention and pretend to care about them because of their money or the possibility that they'll get a gift. I've said many times fundraising is getting into someone's pocket, whereas development or friend raising is about relationship building. The goal of fundraising is getting to the ask, but the goal of development and friend raising is long lasting relationships. Our partners or donors know when someone generally wants to develop a relationship with them or when someone is just interested in getting their money. It's important that you look introspectively to see if you are truly interested in building a relationship with that person. Helping the partner accomplish what they want and hopefully accomplish what you want, which will take time, or if you just wish to enter into a relationship to get to the ask, to get to what you want. Surface level relationships with partners or donors in most cases don't yield great results or a bountiful harvest. You end up getting surface level giving. A meaningful relationship built over time yields great results and that means sacrificial giving. If you made the decision to play the long game because you know it will benefit both the partner and the donor and your organization, then start by loving them. Key number two, communicate frequently. Once again, just as any lasting relationship, communication is a crucial component and often frequent communication. But remember, people like hearing from people they like and care about. For a nonprofit, a partner or donor must have some level of connection with one or more individuals in the organization. Remember, people give to people, but also they need to feel the information they receive from you is of value. Send communication pieces to determine what they like getting best. 
Critical few partners or donors, those who are part of the 20% that give 80% of your income, tend to already get a lot of communication from many organizations. Be sensitive not to overwhelm them in the beginning, and when appropriate, ask them what they like receiving. Many partners or donors already feel bombarded by a lot of other groups, but they probably are fine with the level of communication from groups that they like. Here are the traditional methods of communication that you should consider. Number one, send a newsletter, either hard copy or electronic. Include results or tell stories of changed lives. Be sure to make them an active part of the, in the success and results achieved in those stories. All that you're hearing is a result of your financial partnership with us. Number two, write a personal note, email or text. Notes can be handwritten or typed and emailed or emailed or text. Personal notes on corporate or personalized stationery are best and should include personal information that makes the note specific to them. Lead with something that you may have discussed in the past, work, family, or other conversations. Number three, phone call or virtual call. Aside from meeting in person, phone calls or virtual calls can be the best form of communication. It is personal, private, and you can be frank and honest about your organization and about something personal in their life. Key number three, be creative in your appreciation. Even though many partners or donors say they don't want to be thanked or appreciated, as humans, it's a built-in desire to be appreciated, and donors like it just as much as we do. There are a wide variety of ways to creatively show appreciation, but some that have worked well include birthdays, anniversaries, and the birthdays of their children, holidays, Christmas, and other religious occasions, Thanksgiving, Valentine's Day, and other holidays that are important to them, special gifts that show you're thinking of them, jellies, ornaments, or other things they like, such as scented candles or essential oils, postcards with special reminders. Key number four, meet as often as possible. Nothing that you'll do is as important or as effective in keeping existing partners as meeting face-to-face, -face. but that isn't always easy. Schedules are complex and filled, and the cost of travel may make a formal visit prohibitive or at least rare. I've done several videos on getting an appointment and what to say on an appointment and have included those in a playlist above. Do what you can to at least meet with each of your critical few partners once per year or once every other year. When you meet, try to communicate the following. Report on organizational results. Tell stories of changed lives. Show a genuine interest in them. Ask questions and pray for them. Key number five, engage with frontline activities. One of the most powerful ways to keep existing partners is to engage them in activities related to your frontline efforts or activities. It's one thing for partners to hear or see your activities. However, it takes their ownership of involvement to another level when you engage them in their activities. Serving food to the homeless or bringing water filters to an underdeveloped community needing clean water allows donors to not only view the need, but experience it from both sides. Seeing those in need, but also helping to meet the need. I feel this is so important that I've created an entire department within our organization dedicated to looking for opportunities and ways for partners or donors to be engaged in frontline activities. Bonus key, pray for your partners. If you're a faith-based organization, prayer is an important part of your connection with your donor or partner. These donors love the two-way co connection of giving and receiving prayer requests. I recommend the following. Begin a systematic prayer strategy. We started praying and fasting for our critical few partners the first Saturday of each month in April of 2009, and it's been a wonderful practice, and we've gotten great feedback. Solicit prayer requests. Send a note occasionally indicated you prayed for them. This is a highly personal practice, but it makes for a great bonding experience between partners and donors and organizational leaders. Finding ways to keep existing partners is one of the most important or the most important development activity that you'll perform. Donor retention should be tracked and evaluated frequently, a minimum at least once per year or even quarterly or monthly. I refer to this activity as shutting the back door, which is just as vital to your success as having a wide open front door for bringing in donors. Continue to show love, keep an open line of communication with your partners or donors, meet with them when possible, engage them in activities and pray for them when appropriate are all great ways to keep existing partners. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, hit the like button and add a comment below listing which concept you like best and want to start first. And if I missed anything valuable and that you learned, share that with me in the comments so they can help our entire community. 
If you enjoyed what you heard, please subscribe to this channel and share this with your friends or colleagues. There's no cost to you, but the more subscribers we have, the more mess the message gets out to others and the more we can all share in the wealth derived from collective experiences. Simply hit the big red subscribe button. If you want to find out what to do and say during a meeting with a donor, watch this video and raise more money than ever before and better our world. I wish you the best as you strive to increase your income and reach the goal of becoming fully funded. Thanks a lot. See you in the next video.